Hello, dear friends. Fisher here. Today we continue with our beautiful story, "The Power of the Spirit," the second part of story sixty-five. And Bruno continuously and talking about、uh, about cleaning your, keep your inner inner self clean spiritually and mentally. And Bruno said, "It is very important for every human being." To know that the only thing that counts in life is what they have or developed inside them, spiritually and mentally, and how they actually do stand with things. If everything is in order only on the outside, inasmuch as they dress themselves neatly and tidily, as well as showing an irreproachable behavior to the world, while at the same time. Concealing the bad side, they must nevertheless bear the consequences of their mistaken conduct. Whatever a human being picks up, by way of evil thoughts, feelings, in the course of years, without shooing them away from themselves, they store it all up, and then later pass it on in a strengthen. For in the shape of words and actions, no one ever actually gets free of their difficulties by doing this. That is, by repressing them, and so, metaphorically speaking, by sweeping them under the carpet. On the contrary, the covered-up heap of dirt goes on getting more and more unpleasant. And destructive, and until in the end, it overlays everything else. Therefore, it is essential not only to clean the house and to get rid of the old dirt from it, but also just as thoroughly, yes, even more thoroughly, to keep the inner house of the spirit clean. The smallest piece of dirt that establishes itself. There increases in the course of time, and if people hold on to it, it overgrows all the good that otherwise would still have been present. This is the case, for example, with Lilo's mother. For although there is a good core in her, she has taken so much evil into herself, and hold on to it so tightly, and that is impossible to help her. Yes, quite the contrary. If she had come here again, she would only have become more mentally and emotionally clenched.、Uh, yes, dear friends. So Bruno continuously stress about、uh, to keep your spirit, keep your mind clean. So that is what it only counts for every human being. So your physical wealth. And then your houses, your gold, your money, and then your all your beautiful ones in your life. They can't come with you. They're only here with you for the journey. You were born naked, and we were born. We'll go naked, or almost with clothes. We can't take all the physical things with us. What we could take with us is all the years on Earth. We have grown so much. And then we take all the fruits, the mental and spiritual fruits, with us, which is the peace you have developed over the course of years and decades, the calm, the critical thinking, the mental health, the loving emotion. All those, all those things you take with you when you pass away or when you pass on to the other world, everything physical. And nothing physical we could take with us when we die, or when we transit into the other world. That is fundamental truth. That most of time and most of us do not realize these days. And we are so drawn, and we are so in a way addicted to this physical world. Addicted. To the technologies, our smartphones, and then we forgot largely 
What we here for on this beautiful divine earth? What are we here to do? What's our life purpose? Is to develop. Is to, if we have to use the word possess, if we have to possess all the good. And pass it down to people. So, not only clean yourself outside, not only clean your physical body, and then put a nice fragrance on it. And inside of you, and it should be good too. No, anything bad should be concealed by you, because the bad. Will manifest into itself, and always be careful not to take in any evil thoughts, or feelings, or emotions. You must keep no evil inside you. It's very simple. You do not mix the old milk with the new with the new milk, because the new milk will go off. You don't even want to put a one drop of old. Off milk, in the new milk, because you know that the, the fresh milk will go off. Just a matter of、uh, one or two days. It is very simple. Do not blend the good with the bad together. Your spirit and your mind should be as pure and as clean as the water. Not the tap water, not the polluted water, but the mountain springs. That is your spirit, the mountain springs. Be as clean as the mountain springs. You don't want to put one, not even one drop of ink into the water, because that pollutes the water. It is very simple. We need to be pure, not ninety-nine percent, but hundred percent, dear friends. I know it is difficult, by all means. That's what we're here to accomplish. In your life, so nothing covered up, nothing swept under the carpet will not be coming out. Everything will manifest into reality in the physical form. Whatever the thoughts you have, whatever the positive or the negative emotions you have, will finally come out. It is very simple. You see, the very stressful people, they mentally, emotionally full on. They like the cup. They overflowed by the mix, ink mixture of ink and water, largely ink. So they have to give it out, and often they give it out to their friends and their family ones because they themselves cannot handle anymore. So subconsciously, and Involuntarily, they pass on all the dirt, all the bad, to you. And often that happens in the family. One cannot handle the stress anymore. So whether that's stress from work or from life, you had a hard time and you got bullied by your boss, and they came back home. That's what happened often, and then you release all this to your partners. Whether it's A woman complaining to a man, or a man came back home and cranky and angry. So do not bring the dust to your home, dear friends. Once you finish your work, you need to dissociate, disassociate all the emotions, all the energies, all the thoughts from work. And when you came home, make sure you bring the good, the peace home, not only the money. That is not the most important things you bring home. Peace and harmony. Okay, dear friends. I wish you have a good day and God bless.